integrating the childhood reflexes is really important. We need to see, however, that the postural reflexes, which are our lifelong reflexes, are also in place. There are a number of postural reflexes. You'll know some of them. Uh, that parachute reflex, so that when you, if you trip or fall, your arm goes out just to protect you, so you don't land on your face. That's one of them. Well, one of the most important ones uh, that we need to ensure is in place is one called the head writing reflex. So what might the head writing reflex look like? Sarah has very kindly agreed to be my model. So what we're going to do is we're going to test it and this is what the test looks like. It's one you can even do at home. It's so easy. I'm going to gently lean Sarah over to one side and I'm going to look and see whether her head moves in a way that her eyes remain level. We're going to go over to the other side and we're going to do exactly the same thing. And as you can see, Sarah's head remains absolutely level even though I'm moving her around. So what might the head writing reflex look like if it's not fully integrated? Sarah, here we go. You're going to do your best. Thank you. Whoa, so can you imagine what that feels like? And can you see how the eyes are not level? This is a poor child that keeps falling over. Uh, that's incredibly clumsy. And it makes reading and writing really difficult for them. These are the children that support their heads whenever they're doing anything. Or they lie on the desk and actually do their writing. Uh, you'll be able to pick them up really easily. Now this is a program which we can, uh, and a reflex which we can easily integrate through our PE program that we have in schools.